Leaders, as usual, after the compulsories, now in their final great competition, the Olympic and three-time world champions, the Tsar and Zaharina of the Ice Dance, Natalia Bestimanova and Andrea Bukin. the set pattern dance, there are many varieties from which to choose, and this year the tango is tailor-made for this splendid Soviet couple, particularly for Natalia, who is a great actor. Certainly a great disappointment for this pair is the fact that their teacher, Tarasova, became ill directly after the Olympic Games, and so they are out there on their own without really a support system. For any other competitor, it would be perhaps a tragedy, but their technique, experience, and ability will carry them through. This tango is a slight departure from any of the others that we've seen because there is a very evident sense of humor in it. Always a difficult characteristic to inject in any kind of dance, but it certainly works sublimely well for, for them. They really have to get the mark for this, Ted. This was a superb version, really without mistake. Quite different from the Duchenne's, nevertheless, excellent in every aspect. No standing ovation, but great appreciation, and certainly their names are now forever written in the history book of figure skating as two of the greatest to ever appear. And this is their swan song, although she will continue to skate, no doubt, with her husband, Igor Bobrin, as a professional. The first set of marks, and there are five ninths from Poland, Hungary, Great Britain, and France, and a 5 7 from the United States judge, who is Mary Wright. This is for technical merit. I've seen very few marks under 5 8 any time in the last uh, three years for this couple. And now we await as they do the marks for artistic impression. And there is a six from France, and all oh, the rest are five nines. And of course, they are solidly first after the OSP.